it was a real feat to be able to transport all this into through the Civil War and taking the pictures that we see. Ty Gullery unkept an art of photography that most believe faded away. I wanted to create the tin type images like you see at the antique stores, the little pictures on a metal plate. Ty spent months studying Civil War camera design. I wound up learning how um, I built my first camera and made my own homemade lens. From the cherry wood he orders from New York, everything on his cameras is custom made with the same type of materials used in the 1800s. Nothing is off the shelf. Uh, I can't go to a hardware store and buy anything I can use. Ty spends hundreds of hours crafting each camera, limiting himself to hand tools. I build three of them at a time, and it takes me about three months to get a camera from the point of wood here in the shop to being able to set it on a tripod. Most Civil War photographs were posed because of the difficulty of setting up the shot. To make a picture, it would require taking the lens cap off, count two to five seconds, and putting it back on, and hoping you didn't overexpose or underexpose. Don't adjust your TV sets. I'm actually upside down, and this is the way you look through one of Ty's cameras. This is also the way the photographer saw it during the Civil War. I think one of the most common questions I get is what's in the camera? Absolutely nothing besides the lens and the plate holder. The camera is an empty, light type box. All these lenses are original brass lenses that the guys use for tin type photography. This lens here, it was made in 1858. This is a pre-Civil War lens. So piece by piece, one camera at a time, Ty is preserving an art form long forgotten, now forever captured in time. To see it with your own eyes, even if it's in a faint little photograph, is just so dramatic. For CBS 19, I'm J.B. Smith, and that's my story.